It's the EG project. And um, if uh, we've been around for a bit, you've probably heard of us. Uh, we did presentation, obviously, uh, during summer one. But uh, what we do is put electrode caps on people's heads and take voltage measurements, a bunch of voltage measurements. That's pretty much the gist of it. So, yeah. Alexander Thomas. I'm Hannah Mittenkopf. Oh, yeah, and I'm Alex Jackwoods. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're done. Yeah. So um, our uh, vision, uh, as written, uh, we are trying to understand the correlation between uh, quantifiable and data and psychological presentation. So um, pretty much what this means is that uh, uh, maybe you've thought of this yourself at one point or another. How do we take something as complex as the mind and be able to uh, say, well, we can apply this number to this just absolutely complex behavioral psychological phenomenon. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a tough task, but we hope to be able to do that with the use of something called a quantitative electroencephalogram. Uh, and so that's, that's our vision, is, is bringing uh, bring data and analysis to this uh, somewhat nebulous gray area of, I guess you could say, psychology. So, um, yeah, so again, uh, this is sort of a, an expansion upon what I just said. Our mission is a little more specific. Um, and so, so we, we seek to understand psychophysiology and also sort of to provide as many students as possible with a, uh, a, uh, a an ability to do some research. So we had a ton of members back uh, in in the spring. Uh, we were, I guess, popular. We, we had a <laughs> ton of people coming through, learning how, learning the structure of the brain, learning about brain waves, um, and it was it was really uh, it was inspiring because it was just it was, we were sort of swarm. Um, uh, so yeah, our values um, sort of first and foremost, and what informs this is that the end goal is to improve the wellness of, of those involved with the project, of those administering the project, um, and um, also the upholding of the scientific method, of course, um, so we can make better conclusions, which also sort of bolsters the wellness. It all kind of comes around to that when it comes to this sort of research. Um, yeah. So. Um, so our, from, from the first semester, uh, we, we, we have uh, similar goals, um, finding at least five more individuals uh, to expand the breadth of, uh, of this ISF collection. Uh, we just need more data points, of course. We're always going to need more data points. Uh, and uh, securing all the, uh, the materials we need to keep doing this in the fall, because this is, this is it's a tough thing when we have to, for example, continuously renew uh, a passkey, which hopefully will happen by Monday, and uh, there's a sign-in sheet coming around. So um, we will have the capacity once more to do QEEGs, and if nothing more, it's an interesting look at what your brain is like. Um, so those are the two main goals, right? To um, to be able to continue this research forward for the individuals that may come to the project in the fall and beyond, uh, and to increase sort of the breadth of of data points that we have. Thanks. So I know most of you heard about know of what our project is about, but for those of you who don't know what our project is about, the purpose of our study is to reduce stress and anxiety of our participants. And so to do to deal with anxiety, we're doing ISF inverse low fluctuation training, which uses a neurofeedback. Neurofeedback is type of biofeedback that measures brain activity and helps us receive um, the information of our brain. So during the ISF training, the computer gives the low frequency sound waves, which is not invasive, um, and once the brain responds to them, the program measures that brain, that brain activity and uh, brain, that brain activity. So with this neurofeedback, we try to open channels in our brain that are blocked. So with the equipment which I already passed around the room, uh, we kind of go further in on the actual Atlantis and the actual uh, discovery. So welcome. And so from there, we are actually working with the company called Brainmaster and with hopefully Alex and one more recently said, we have the passkey to actually hopefully start with the discovery and the actual 
uh, QEG process in NYSF. Uh, right now, we're only working with our current members because they already have the actual QEG data from the spring semester, which is already you know, easy to work with right now. Basically, so this is the ISF training, a typical ISF training. And before the training, we basically uh, prepared the equipment. And we used two kind of gels for the electrodes. As you can see, there's like a skin gel to just like um, to attach the electrodes to the uh, skull. And then there's another gel that we use to like um, make it easier for the electrodes to read and amplify the sounds. So also uh, you can see that the electrodes have different colors and we place them in different places. Like they have a specific location in the skull. Uh, in this case, Hyunbin, she uh, did the T4 and T3 session and uh, we placed the electrodes on the temporal lobes, T3 and T4, on the mastoids, those are for reference, and then one in the forehead, just to equilibrate the whole thing. So this is pre the training, and then after that, we uh, basically open our program on the computer, we have all the settings, all everything set up. Um, <laughs> And then we start and run the session. Okay, so during the training, so right now we are in the training mode, and during those trainings, the participant is exposed to this low frequency sound wave, and it's a noble. And uh, the first training is basically finding the right, the optimal frequency at which their brain is like relaxed and calm. And then the following trainees, the 12 sessions later, they're gonna be like uh, just uh, exposing the participant to this one. As you can see, there's uh, Jacqueline, one of our members, and she's conducting this survey, which is essential to the whole training because it keeps us uh, it says that we are on the right track. So that was a video for our ISF training. And in summer two, as an update, we got the passkey for, uh, for the Atlantis that we use for ISF training. So actually we're running uh, the training for our members because we already have our pre-EEG um, data. And, but we're, we still, we're still waiting for the passkey for the discovery that we need for pre-QEG and post um, so we're running the session and we're looking for more participants as well. So we also have our blog information. You're looking to you know catch up with us. You're looking to join our group. We have the additional information you're looking for. We have the, our room and meeting times, which is you know 10 to 3 for the uh, SBSP meeting. And we also have been performing the Taiji uh, and and uh, S327. And should, I mean, you guys have any questions? You know, free to ask right now. Yes.